Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. In this video, I am going to show you how to import survey points into QGIS 3.36 from a CSV file, delimited text file, and place them in an existing layer. So it's a, it's a little bit trickier than just importing, uh, importing a, a CSV file as a new layer. So I've got a project, uh, QGIS project open here for one of the jobs that we're working on. And uh, you can see I've got a couple point layers. So I've got my control points here, and then I've got my property corner points here. And so what I want to do is show you how to, we're going to import some property corner points and then put them on this existing layer. Um, now I will warn you, I thought they had fixed this bug, but QGIS, when, you, when you're pasting features into a new layer, when you go to save your layer edits, QGIS seems to be deleting the existing features in the layer, which is a really, dangerous bug so what we're going to do is we're actually going to come in and I'm just going to make a backup since I know it does that so we're going to just come in and make up a backup of our point layer here so uh, if you need to do that do that so it's this file right here we just have a geojawson file so I'm just going to call this backup All right, that way, if, if uh, we destroy our existing features, we can get them back. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're just going to import our existing CSV file. Then we need to make that, we need to edit the field names. So we have to save it as a GeoJawson. We'll go and edit the field names, then we'll copy the features from that layer and paste them to our destination layer. That's what we want to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and import first. So we're going to say layer, add layer, add delimited text layer. And we're going to go find our, our file. I have a couple CSVs here. I have one for control, one for boundary. We're doing the one for boundary. Okay, my X field or my easting is going to be field three. Our Y northing is field two. Our Z is field four. I don't have an M value. That's like a station. And, and these are going to be different depending on if you're using easting northing order or northing easting. We use northing easting at my shop. We're bringing in point coordinates. We let it auto detect the attributes and it did a good job here. It found the right kind of attributes. So I think we're good here. We're gonna say add and then we'll close it. So you can see now I have uh, some boundary points that came in and uh, it, it's they're showing up as other right now. Ooh, nope, I'm sorry. They're coming in right here with this little pink on their own layer. Now I can't edit this layer Okay, so what I want to do is uh, we're going to say export save features as, and we are going to save this as points boundary uh, temp. And I'm going to save it in that same task folder here. Oh. And I'm not keeping that layer. That's why I'm calling it temp. Okay, so now we can just get rid of this layer that we imported since we can't edit it. We're just gonna remove it. Okay, and then we're gonna make this new layer editable and we're gonna go into the properties. Okay, now before I do that, let me show you why. We're gonna, we want to, um, we want to paste these new points into our property corner layer. And so to do that, if we want the attribute data to, to transfer over, the field names have to match up exactly. So I'm gonna, I have point number, northing, easting, elevation, and then uh, we're gonna say found description. That's gonna be what we're gonna use. Okay, so if you know of a, of a plugin, if you're watching the video and you know of a plugin that allows you to copy feature from one layer to another and kind of match the attributes in a couple drop down boxes or combo boxes let me know i would be cool plug in if, if there is one if you guys uh tell me about that i'll do a video on it all right so we just want to make sure that our our field names match for the attributes that are going to copy over so we'll, we'll go ahead and um pull up the properties on our temp layer which is editable and we're going to change these they got to match exact or the attribute won't copy so this one is point identifier. This one is northing. This one is easting. 
This one is elevation, and then that last one was record description. Okay, again, we're doing this so that the attributes will copy over. Okay, so now with that layer active, I'm going to click on my select tool. I'm going to select all those points. I'm going to say edit, copy. Then I'm going to come to my property corners layer, make it editable. I'm going to say edit, paste features. Okay, then if I turn this off, okay, if I turn that off, I'm hoping that I see my property corners. I don't see them yet, so that makes me a little nervous. Let's open the attributes. All right, so they are here. Oh, but they didn't they didn't copy over correctly because I didn't have the the, the point number. And they're not showing up because I don't have status set. So so let's try that again. Landon failed. All right, so we're going to come back in here and edit this. I have point identifier and it should be point number. So like I said, they got to match exact. All right. Now we'll copy them again. Um, let's see. I think what I want to do is we want to, we need to delete those, those ones that came in. So let's get rid of these guys. And Let's see if that worked. Yep, that worked. Okay, now we're going to paste them in again. Sorry that I messed that up, guys. Okay, now they're still not showing up because I don't have this symbology set up properly, which I should have done. So in our symbology for this layer, we're going to add a new value for all other values. Okay, we don't have a legend either. This is um, not searched for. This is found, and this is search not found. Okay, so I'm going to just say all other values. So you'll see when I do that now, <clears throat> the points show up. Okay, and, and those will change now. These are all found boundary. So if I go into the attribute table now, now these other attributes aren't set yet. I gotta have my I gotta have my survey tech do that. We gotta clean up these record descriptions. But if I come in here now and change the status to found on these. Uh, they will change. So now, now you can see they're that they're that big bright green. These didn't change for some reason. Let's see. Oh, I had a few, I had a few at the top, and for some reason I didn't get the bug this time again, uh, which is good. So there's the points. Um, and so just to review, we imported a CSV. Right, we changed the attribute names, the field names, so that they lined up between the source layer and the destination layer. Then we copied the point features from the source layer, pasted them into the destination layer. Then we just tweaked the status attributes so that they would display properly with the symbology that we had set up for the layer. And now we've got all of our survey grade found monuments are uh, for this area of the project or in the project. So uh, we'll have the survey techs go in and clean up the rest of those attributes. Excuse me, clean up the rest of those attributes and we'll be cooking with fire. All right, guys, thanks for watching.